Hello, today I want to talk about how to turn one grapevine into many grapevines. And so as you see here, I have two trunks, two mother grapevines, one on the right, one on the left. The left one has what looks like a plastic bottle. That's actually another video and attempted air layer. So as you can see here, I have dug a hole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cane or a this year's growth from this plant, from this grapevine, and I'm going to bury it in this hole and cover it with dirt. And what's going to happen is this is going to promote root growth. And I'll explain how, okay? You'll want the hole to be at least a few inches deep, especially in Arizona, all right? Um, here's the cane that I'm going to select. And as you can see, the cane goes back to the left mother plant right there. I'm going to drop this cane into this hole and this is going to cover it with dirt. It's going to do a, mul a multitude of things. One of the things is this is going to cover it up. This is going to promote root growth at the nodes. And also, since it's downhill from the plant, it's going to cause an accumulation of plant hormones, auxins. And these plant hormones are going to promote root growth. And so we're getting um, better probability of success. So being lower, plant hormones are going to accumulate. It's under the dirt. The dirt's going to help with the moisture to cause the plant to decide to produce roots. And as you can see here, I've covered up the vine. This is where the vine comes back out. And the side where the vine comes back out is going to be the new plant. Eventually that's going to be the new plant. And so you'll want to tie that up to your trellis wire or to a stake or something. You want to keep that up off the ground. You don't want the leaves to get eaten by bugs and you want that hormone to accumulate. All right. And just to make sure you know that I should have put this in front, but this is what the vine looks like before I bury it in the ground. You'll want it to be long enough to be able to go down into the ground and back out of the ground. All right, and there's a couple other positions on this plant that I'm also going to do, but this is the basic idea. Into the ground, out of the ground. And here's two more I did from this same vine. I buried another over here, in and out. And then one more, I took this long cane right here, buried it back here behind my grapefruit tree. And you can see here that it comes back out of the ground. Hopefully this won't get too much shade but I'd like to use as much of my wall as possible for growing grapes because these breaks are delicious. And you can see how just these two grapevines produ produced an incredible amount of cover and growth. Here's my grape grapefruit tree kind of blocking a little bit of the vine, but I think it'll be okay. There's so much sun in Arizona, it'll just be okay. Here's an example of a small cutting that I took six months ago that's already taking off. And one of the lower vines I've actually buried in an attempt to see if something this young can also air layer successfully, see if it'll produce roots. And then if it does produce roots, I'll just clip it off from the mother plant and probably move it to another position since it's gonna be so close to the mother plant. But this is just kind of an experiment. So even if you have little grapevines, you can still experiment. Have fun and thanks for watching.